Welcome to zombies. Let's teach you the basics. This is a zombie. You should kill it. Nice! It's dead. Again. Now, proceed down the corridor. You're going to have to crouch to get under this debris. Sprinting will bring you back to your feet. The weapon on the wall can be all yours, in exchange for some of your points. Points are your currency. You can switch between the different weapons you have equipped. Now that you know how to use your weapons, try to clear out the zombies in this room. Aiming down your sight significantly improves accuracy. Nice job. You'll earn points for every zombie you kill. Headshots and melee kills grant you bonus points. Now, use your hard-earned points to open that door. You'll need to keep opening doors to access new areas. Most doors cost points, but some require other means. Zombies progresses through ever more challenging rounds. Kill all the zombies in one round, and a new one will begin. Uh-oh. Looks like this zombie's torn its way through your defenses. You'd better kill it. Now let's get that doorway boarded back up. Not only does boarding up entrances slow them down, but you also earn a few more points. Now, let's move on. See that weird box of bones? It isn't quite as dangerous as it looks. In exchange for points, the mystery box will generate a totally random weapon for you. See? Totally random. There you go. I told you it wasn't as dangerous as it looked. If you decide what's on offer is a downgrade, you don't have to take it. Just remember, you have a limited window of time to grab the weapon. Once it's back in the box, it's gone. That's pretty much all there is for the basics. Nice job, zombie fighter. Oh, wait. There is some bad news. You're definitely going to die at some point. That's how every zombie's game ends. Just make those flesh eaters work for it. Let's talk about perks. They come in many varieties, and each grants you an additional ability. Head over to that groovy looking statue and purchase a perk. Remember, there are four different altars in a zombie's map, and you can choose which perk each one dispenses. You can assign perks to altars in the lobby loadout menu. Okay, now make your way towards the door on the right. You should already know how to open the door. Let's test your equipment. Kill these zombies with an acid bomb. Nice and messy. Don't worry, you'll have another one soon enough. All equipment regenerates after use. It just takes a little while. Some types even store up multiple uses. Uh-oh, Bruno's in a bit of trouble. Grab that nuke power-up. It'll buy you some time to get him up on his feet. Now revive Bruno. There you go, Bruno. Good as new. Now, lead the way. The undead come in many varieties, each with their own unique behaviors. This one's a catalyst zombie. Yeah, they can be a bit explody. When downed, you'll lose one of your perks. As you continue to bleed out, you'll start to lose the others one by one. Teamwork is everything. Sometimes you have to rely on your companions to progress. See? Now, grab this shield part. You already have the other two. Craftable items like this are just waiting to be found all over a zombie's map. You can keep track of what you've collected on the inventory screen. Each craftable has its own assigned workbench somewhere in the map. Now, let's build a shield. 
Nice. Now pick up the shield off the bench. Try bringing up your shield. It can deflect attacks from the front. Plus, you can fire your pistol while the shield's equipped. Just remember, a shield can eventually break, but you can buy a replacement at the workbench. All right, now it's time to activate the Sentinel Artifact. Follow Bruno up the stairs. With the Sentinel Artifact activated, you'll notice some changes, like additional paths opening up. Time to try out your special weapon. Use the Hammer of Valhalla to lay waste to these zombies. Pretty satisfying, right? Special weapons gain their charge from killing zombies. They'll get stronger the more you use them. You've been given all your elixirs, so let's try one out. Activate the Anywhere But Here elixir. That's a good one if you find yourself in a bind, or just fancy a change in scenery. Now let's learn how to upgrade your weapon. The Pack-a-Punch Altar is highlighted just ahead of you. See? Much more powerful. Which is good, because you're going to need it against some of the bigger, badder foes you'll encounter. You can even repack weapons to give them additional bonuses. Now use that Chaos Orb on the other side of the cargo hold to fast travel out of here. Congratulations, you've completed the Zombies tutorial. Now go do it for real.